Hi everyone. Um, I thought I'd do a very quick video um, as an update because we've just gone past 50,000 in pledges. Uh, there's still a way to go, obviously, um, but uh, I think it's quite a good um, uh, good time to do a little video. Uh, I'm going to have a very busy end of up until the end of this Kickstarter, but you can see as it stands now, just over 50,000, 273 backers. A lot of people are buying two, so a handful are buying three. Um, please don't buy if you can't afford. A lot of people are saying about doubling up, but only do that if you can afford it. Um, but I, I thought an update would be would be useful. So you probably know I've done a, a few um, uh, live chats uh, with some special, really, really nice, lovely people on. Um, and obviously the last one was with Dave Pleasance, uh, who, which I greatly appreciate. Um, also, uh, uh, thank you again to David for putting my story in his book. Um, but that's uh, that. That was that was a really nice surprise. But I, I, yes, it's it's like yes, it's it's running. You know, it's. Let me just show you this. As it's quite interesting. So, um, if you actually look at the dashboard, I'll show you my dashboard. And what you can see is you have fifty thousand. Uh, but if I scroll down here, you can see this chart. And basically, if you look at the trajectory of this chart, I mean, it, if when it first started, that first night was hilarious. <laughs> it just like that launch, that launch stream I did, it went up to twenty thousand by the end of it. And I thought, oh, I thought it was going to just going to go to the sky's the limit, but you know, no, I, di I didn't really think that. But I thought it was a fantastic start. Obviously, proved all the the work and um, the communication I'd done in the beginning work paid off. But then it kind of tailed off, as you can see, and we're, and as you can see, we've come across here. But it's just recently started to take a little bit of a spurt. You can see we're kind of going uphill again, and I would say that trajectory will probably continue up to about sixty five thousand if it just carries on like that. Now, that's obviously not going to make it all the way. Um, but something else that's interesting is we also have now if if you are one of these people I'm hoping I'm going to be able to convert some of you to actually pledge but if you look at this I've got 386 followers of which 62 have already been converted and they've already purchased or pledged so I've got about 320 followers now I only need half of them if that and that will get me past the winning gate so I am hoping that um, these people are going to to pledge um, if if you're thinking of pledging, but you are can you have questions, then I'm doing another um, stream on Sunday night again. Um, there'll be two days left, so after that, so um, I'm doing another question and answer. It's literally just going to be me, unless someone I've, I've invited some people, um, but um, I think it may well just be me that one. Um, and uh, I'll answer all your questions, go through everything I can, and just you know. To convince people you know the, you know any questions they have I'll, I'll go through um but i think that's quite an interesting number there because when i originally i mean obviously my my facebook group i had 1500 words. now i always knew that it wasn't gonna be everyone's gonna buy it and i i would have been happy with like a third of them and a third is what really what we need so um but i'm putting let me explain this curve so a lot of people think I haven't actually been doing any PR. I have actually been doing some PR, and obviously the Facebook groups is obviously a big thing, and I've been communicating within the community. But I've also put the feelers out through people in my group, and they've been helping me. And I've sent a load of press releases that were written by um, Phil South for me. Um, and we sent them out. And uh, so basically, for example, there's this story here in Retro Summit, which is quite a, good, uh, quite a nice little story. Uh, we've got this one here for you know vintage is the new old that's it yeah <laughs> so they did a nice piece on it um bit tech who uh, uh obviously uh, an overclocking kind of site and you know with all the, the, the tools they did a nice piece on it um hackaday that was a good one uh they did a nice piece on that and then of course uh yesterday came out with hot hardware um and so there's a, there's a whole article here about it and of course if you scroll down further you can see it's it's in there. In fact, if you go to their homepage, I'm not sure if I'll still be um, number one story. Let me um, let me just go to the main page. Yeah, hot headlines. If you scroll down, 
oh yeah no i've disappeared off that oh no 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 there you go look look so it's still in there so all of that has basically worked i think to help you see so we're kind of tipping up now my original plan was i hoped i mean it, I, I will be honest the i mean I, I did a screenshot to try and explain the costs why it's so ex why we've gone for such a high figure is purely because the the tooling was costing twenty three thousand twenty two and a half thousand pounds and that's not dollars that's pounds so it's basically a third or just under a third of the cost so it's a massively expensive thing to make and doing the figures you just you just had to do it this number i think it's at 485 i need to make to make it pay for itself um so there was a whole lot of factors in there so it was i, I really wanted to do it at sixty thousand, and we would have probably made that pretty easily um but there was no way i could come out of it at the end of it and have a good quality product so um i am pushing hard on this um now i'm going to be busy i'm going to sound like a politician now um i'm going to um greenford uh, I'm trying to remember the name of the, the Greenford Computer Club on Thursday night in London. Um, and I'm going to be showing the system off there. Uh, I'll also be going to, on Saturday, I'm going to Swag, which is in Swindon. Um, so uh, to do a demonstration there. And I, I, after that, I'm actually calling in to see uh, Retro Man Cave. They're doing a fan, he's doing a fantastic stream all about Amiga and the movies. And he's giving me a little five five minute slot in there to do an advert and to beg for people to, <laughs> to uh, can you please buy the last few? Um, so, you know, um, and I, I'm also, of course, on top of this, I mean, I mentioned that, but of course, Trevor came out and said, you know, uh, it's taken me a little while, you know, th there's been a few things I had to check out and just to be sure, but um committing that you know if we if we meet the target if we meet the target and we when it comes to the cases shipping the tabor um the aeon tabor will be ready in time for it so and i know a number of people wanted to buy the case for the tabor so that that's that's great news and there's also discussion i've been having discussion with people at the moment um uh, about putting a 3,000 motherboard, 4,000 motherboards in there. Now, now for crying out loud, don't buy it thinking I'm going to do it. However, the original version 1, I couldn't get the 3,000 motherboard in there because I wasn't using full-length cards, so that wasn't going to work. However, this new V2 one can take full-length cards. So whilst it would need some changes to the case, there is potential. I'm not promising it, so please don't buy it for it, but... Um, there is potential that may, we may be able to fit the 3,000 motherboard and the 4,000 motherboards in it. Now, to be fair, there is also potential you may need custom riser boards. Um, now, I know people have made custom riser boards. They may have to have one, but there is potential there for, for those two motherboards. And uh, I don't have a problem recasing the 4,000. I know people are going to hate me, but I, it's not as nice as the 3,000. But I will, be, I will not be happy with people taking... A three thousand motherboard out and putting it in my case. Now mine's designed to to be a, an homage to that, but the three thousand case is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and anyway, and let, uh, but people have said I've heard people stories where people have got three thousand motherboards and four thousand motherboards with smashed up cases or missing cases. Um, so you know there is potential for rehoming them. Um, and you know this is this case is not as good as the original three thousand case. Oh, it, it doesn't look as Christ, you know, I'm I'm kind of torn. It's more functional, possibly, than a three thousand case, but it's not a three thousand case. It try, it's trying to have the style. Anyway, so um, things are progressing. It's it has taken. I I did get a little bit depressed with that flat bit. You can you can just see here if you see you know that little bit there did kind of depress me because it kind of went, whoop, uh, uh, just over the top. Um, but um it is it is actually picking up and i think that's due to um this promotion that's been going on and some of it's by myself some of it's by um, people who've pre-ordered or pledged and they've gone around and they're trying to help and there are other sites out there these aren't the only sites see i've just picked out five kind of recognized ones um there was sadly there was <laughs> i was hoping i did speak to the 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 uh, journalist who's been writing the Amiga thing for Ars Technica, um, and he came back and loved the project. But unfortunately, the time they have a longer time lead time, so he 
it wouldn't be able to make it. Now that would have been a, made a big difference. Um, so that's a bit of a shame, but um, that would have been quite good. But to be fair, Hot Hardware and you know um, uh, Hackaday and, and the other sites there, uh, they're, they're they're pretty cool. So you can see it is tipping up. Um, we need to get to on that chart the top of the cursor. So it is a bit of a lift. Um, but as I said, there's an awful lot of people, followers. There's a lot of followers come in. We've got 320 roughly that haven't pledged. So we we don't need that many. We only need half. And there are also, I know there's 40, about 40 people on my, on my Facebook group that haven't per, pledged yet. And they're just waiting for some money to come in. So, you know, things are looking good. Um, but I'm not counting my chickens. Um, I have uh, people have asked me, is there a plan B? No, there's no plan B. If this does not, if this is not a success, that is that's it because I've I've invested a lot of time in this, um, and uh, if it's not going to make, I know it was a tall challenge, um, but if it's not going to make it, that's it. I've got two very expensive cases, and I'll be very happy with them. But um, so I I just I can't I can't fund it any other way. So. Um, this this is the best way of getting the best quality, um, and as I said, I'd already got the suppliers, the manufacturers lined up, and the metal work's all done. Of course, you know there's a couple of tweaks. I needed another prototype, and you know, like a manufacturing run prototype. It's just the plastics at the front. I mean, even the circuit boards are done. So you know, we're we're pretty much ready to go. But if 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 it just needs to kick up, I, I think we need another roughly another hundred and fifty people. Um, 150 people roughly yeah yeah no no i think that's rough yeah rough yeah 150 people 150 people um would actually see this through so um yeah so uh i thought i'd give you an update it's it's just a brief update um i hope you're um uh try and keep positive um as i said i'll be there i'll be at the two clubs on on thursday and uh saturday and i'll be doing my live stream on sunday night so if you're sitting on the fence and you're still thinking about whether you want to do it oh the one thing i do want to do um i do want to mention is um is about the pie uh and um i now i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna give you a little bit of a um this is not just about me wanting to design a pretty case um, I think it's kind of important I give this message out there. And it can be seen sometimes as overblown. But I I, I, th I have a, an ulterior motive for doing this. So obviously I, I want to make this case and, you know, be really nice for people, I think. And, you know, be, be a great product to, to finish off. And it's, it's kind of a 30-year journey. But, you know, from the original, that's nothing to do with this. But to me, it's, it, this has always been quite an important part is that I, I'm running, well, let's just say I'm running at the moment on uh, my, uh, my, my case. Let me just, I'm going to load this up now. I actually think, right, that if you've, oh, why is it over there? God, that figures, doesn't it? Bear me a second. It's because I've moved things around. Hang on, let's put that. Bear with me. Um, display. And let's get the monitor and put it over to... Is it that one? No, it's not that one. Oh, this is annoying, isn't it? Nvidia. Why is it not moving? God. Um... I won't bother then. <laughs> I was going to show you Ami Kit. Um, but it's for some reason, it doesn't seem to want to switch unless I've got it on the wrong one. Ah, that's why. Okay, right. So, obviously, I've aimed this at. Um, I've aimed this at people. Oh, I'm sorry. I've actually only got a bit of the screen here, so you're not seeing the whole display. But I've I've kind of aimed this at obviously 500 owners, 600 owners. But I have an ulterior motive, and the ulterior motive is this: that I want to build PCs, reasonably reasonably priced PCs, 
normal Intel hardware um, for a reasonable price in this case with Amikit at, sitting on top of Amiga Forever and it's also got this rabbit hole functionality and I did show you this in the I did show this in a video but so for example if I um, oh well, let's open up VLC here you go um, so I can run Windows software obviously because it's on this case a Windows machine but if it's a Linux machine it would be running Linux software so I, I can be running let's grab a file open recent media testing one, one two three, three. Oh. one two three <laughs> okay well, there you go so but I you know it's a win it's a Windows winner Windows or Linux machine and there you go so it just it just works with your machine but what you've also got is you've also got access to all your Amiga software so so basically obviously it is also an Amiga now if you can buy the machine completely kitted out and sell this to uh, people who had Amigas back in the day and they miss their, their Amigas but they can't use them day to day if you can sell them a system with now a lot of them might have seen Ami Kit and they won't realise the Amiga can run these fantastically high resolution displays and actually run really well. Um and yet you you know you'll have all the all your old favourites and you can run the you can run your games and you know in the old days I used to hate games but now I'm you know I'm I am i am like I, I play the old game myself now to be fair in fact my wife likes lemmings so um if 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 we can bring them back just for you know to say well it it's not going to cost, ultimately, hopefully in long term, it, it won't cost any more than building a normal PC. But they're going to have it with Amiga, comes completely built with Amiga Forever and Amikit with this beautiful interface with the rabbit hole functionality and looks like an Amiga 3000. So if they can have that for, for a little bit more than the normal cost of a PC, get a bit of a, if, if they've got a retro bone in their bodies, then I, I think that it might interest them and then we can... We can start to bring some of the million, and I mean millions, of Amiga users back. Now that brings me on to the second thing, which is the Raspberry Pi. Now, it you can say it's right. I suppose the first thing to say is this is a stupidly expensive case for a Raspberry Pi. Now we all know the Raspberry Pi is a fantastic emulation system, and it can run in a brilliant Amiga experience. I've already done a video on this a little while back and it was one of my most popular videos. Now if you think of it as a case for Raspberry Pi you think well that's stupid money. Okay? Because these are £35, the case is £159, all the bits etc. It's ridiculous money. If you look at the other way around it's a, it's a, it, is, it is a little bit more a little bit expensive case. I'll, I'll be the first to admit it. I mean, ideally, I wanted this case around hundred pound. It's impossible to make that unless I start shipping in thousands. So it is slightly higher price. But at one fifty nine, you've got yourself a nice a nice well. Hopefully, you think it's a nice case. I mean, the hundreds of people that are doing it saying they they love it. People really like the case. So if you want to build a computer from that. And say, for example, you want to stop it. You don't want to spend out. Say you were thinking of getting it to ball or maybe a vampire standalone. You know, uh, and you don't be all, you know, you haven't got that money yet. You can buy a Raspberry Pi for £35. Put it inside the case because I will have a fitting kit. And I simply said, I have other plans for Raspberry Pi as a second processor for the Amigas in it as well. But just for now. So you could put that in it. So you could build yourself a complete system. 230 pounds you know with the power supply and the bits and pieces in it so you can get yourself started for a cut just over a couple of hundred pounds and use the raspberry pi for the amiga and it is fast it's faster than the vampire except on floating point as i've mentioned get a great experience for a couple of hundred pounds so if you look at it that way it's actually a really good way of building yourself a retro machine now later on now of course this will run linux and amiga and later on, you can upgrade it, and then you may want to, oh, okay, I'll put, I'll put an Amiga in it, or I'll put a Vampire in it, or I'll put a PC in it, or whatever you want to do. And you can build it. So if you think of it that way, this not a bad system with a Raspberry Pi, okay? I, I honestly think that. So that's, that's my thinking. Now, there's 10 million Raspberry Pi owners out there. 
Um, there's millions of ex Amiga owners out there. If we can get like one, two percent of these people to come back and just build one and show some interest and come back into the community and just, just you know, it's just enjoy, you know, it just it's this is purely f for them for fun. Enjoy, enjoy what the Amiga has to offer. So that's the that's the big thing for me. Um, you know, I want to sell some cases, obviously. I mean, ultimately, if this does take off, then I could possibly turn it into a business again. I don't know. Um, but the, the reality is that if, if, if it's seen as popular and uh, people like it, then there is potential for, um, you know, for, uh, for people coming back to the Amiga community. Now, obviously, the Amiga community... Well, it's actually growing, to be fair. I mean, there's, it's, it's actually really exciting at the moment. I mean, there's so many things coming out. I mean, you'd think for a platform that died in 1994, you'd think it'd be all done and dusted by now, which is 20, 20, 24 years ago. You'd think it'd be dead by now, wouldn't you? But no, there's all new hardware being made. I think I'm the first case, custom case, that's been done for a long time. I think possibly the last one was the... Um, I forgot what it was called now. God, that's terrible, isn't it? But the tower. Um, and so I think this is the first new case for... Oh, no, no, the, um, Loriano did one as well. But oh, that, that was just purely for PC. So this is... But anyway, that's... so. But there's a lot of hardware coming. There's the Tabor coming. There's the Vampire Standalone. Um, there's Amy ITX board. There's a new 3000 custom board, a new board being made based on the 3000. There's a new board coming. I think it's two boards with the 4000. There's a 1200. It's just crazy. Now, I'll answer a question about those new 4000 motherboards. They won't go in. They're ATX. In fact, they're extended ATX. Sadly, I wish they, no one knew, did they, that this case may take off. But anyway, that won't fit. Um... It will take micro ATX. So if anyone's going to do one now, or do if you're doing a board that's exactly the same dimensions, I'm pretty confident we can make it fit. So um, they will be quite good. So uh, I, I, I'm, I'm quietly, I'm not overly confident. I'm reasonably confident that we pretty much may just make it past the line. And, and this chart is kind of showing the way it's going up. Tiny slightly, you know, if you look, if you do a straight line, if you if you did the straight line from here, because someone put on Amiga World and it went, oh, it's going to end here or it's going to end there. Well, yeah, but since then, you can see it's kind of lifted. So, um, and that's because of all the PR that's come in. Um, and there's, uh, we've got a couple more tricks up our sleeve. Uh, some mail shots going out. So um, there is a, a few more bits coming. And of course, I'm a bit more promotion. So there's still six days left, but only six days left. So if you do want to get on board, please don't look at it. And, and don't stretch yourself. There's some people saying they really would like to buy it, but they can't afford it. Please do not pledge unless you can comfortably afford it. Um, and, and people mean well, and I really, I really mean that. Um, I'd rather lose it than have a few people put themselves in any kind of problems. So, um, but yeah, it's uh, I, 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 I don't know. You know, I, I really don't know. Um, who, who knows if it's going to be a success or not? But um, uh, let's pull that back over here. There we go. Uh, I, I don't know if it's going to be a success, but you know, it's. Um, it's a, it's been a journey. I'll put it that. It's definitely been a journey, um, and uh, whatever happens, I, 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 I'm I, from the bottom of my heart. Thanks to everyone who's backed it. Thanks to everyone who's helped with promotion. And regardless, you may find I get a bit depressed if it doesn't make it. But you know that's nothing to worry about. Anyway, that's it. So um, if you haven't pledged, please pledge. If you're waiting, some people I put on a, on my site are you. Oh, I'm waiting till the end to make you sweat. That's fine, you know. I don't mind as if they're coming at the end. Um, but we are over fifty thousand, so that's a bit of a milestone. Um, and so it's it's definitely on the up. Um, and I do like that chart, to be honest. That that is looking quite positive because remember, it only has to get to here, at the top of the right there. So yes, it does mean it's got to lift a bit more, obviously, but. As I said, there's an awful lot of people following. I'm hoping they're following because some of them are trying to decide if they want to. Now, if half of that number do pledge, 
um, will make it. Now, I'm not even worried about the the um, stretch goal for now. Now, the stretch goal, as you're probably aware, was for... Let me scroll down. I'll find this. Um, yeah, so there's a nice... Oh, yeah, thanks to Paul Kitchen for doing these renders. It has made a difference. The spikes actually started happening with these images. You know, they really did. So uh, even though I've got the real thing here... Because people are saying about that white plastic. Yeah, I know, it's just 3D prototype. But seeing this, what it's actually going to look like, um, I think has really helped. And then, of course, then there's a the black. So, uh, But if I scroll down here, the, the um, where we go to down to here. Keep going, Steve. Keep going. Keep going. Right, so these are the three I'm concentrating. Start with these are the fronts. Uh, the panels are going to go in. They've been costed in. This one has not been costed in. That's this one was for the stretch goal, which is for the DVD drives. Now, um, if it um, if it if it goes through, I'm going to see, see if we can make some cuts elsewhere because I do think that's an important one having a DVD panel. It is three and a half thousand, which is why it was a ten thousand stretch goal because it got you know. But um, we'll see what we can do with that um, because. But I'm not promising it because I have said for the stretch goal. But I'd be just happy to be honest to get past the gate now that's something we can always do later you know we don't have to do it straight away you may find people order so many extras that it helps fund it so we'll you know that won't necessarily be the end of that um but uh it, it would be nice and um i think that's about it really i'm waffled on long enough oh risers and oh the keyboard yeah the new keyboard case um so that again that's going to happen anyway um because I buggered it, I buggered it up and made a mess of it. It's made me look at it, but I have actually got the case now, so I'm looking at it in different ways. And maybe we can make it so you could put a pie in it. So there's, you know, regardless of this. Um, but uh, yeah. So anyway, um, I think that's pretty much it. As you can see, fifty thousand. Um, I whilst again, it's not. You know, we're not there. Um, I, I'm I'm reasonably optimistic. I'm I'm not I'm not American about this, you know. Um, but I'm reasonably optimistic that we can do this. And uh, anyway, so but thanks for thanks for watching. Um, and you know, if you can afford it, don't do it. If you can't afford it, please don't do it. Um, but if you can afford it, pledge. If you can afford two, buy two. Yeah, because I've got one of each, and they they we're going to be really cool. Um, but yeah, just see if we can get there. All right, thanks very much, and um, I will speak to you soon. I will video the um, meetings I'm going to as well, so you can see the reaction of people when they see the case itself and tearing it apart. All right, okay, thanks very much. Bye.